black people <laughs> African people and their stupidity. Like African people, like religion. Let like black people, like religion. And in, uh, around the globe, not even only in Africa. See Africa, see religion. I don't know what would have been um, the case if this Christianity is being discovered by Africa. If the origin of Christianity is from Africa. Nigeria to be precise. I, I don't know what will happen. So maybe maybe so many of you would have taken their stupidity to Western world to come and force them to believe in your nonsense doctrine. Because uh, you will be using your Bible to fight them. They are using their nuclear weapon to eliminate all of you. I want you to watch the interview. You know, why people are debating. You know, they debate. They are debating with one another. On how to get things right for mental resilience. One of um, the religious um, fanatic call all the way from Nigeria. A Biafran at that. His name is Emeka. Pay attention to see who is making sense. Let's listen. If you don't believe in God, then how do you think you came about? My parents had sex. <laughs> I can't hear you. Can you hear me? I can, oh, can hear, you. hear you. Yes. Yeah. Did you did you hear my answer? Not really. I exist because my parents had sexual intercourse and my mother got pregnant and then gave birth to me. Yeah, but somebody brought about the whole existence of human being. How how do you know it's a somebody and not a something? Okay, what thing do you think brought about it? Well, let's say for a second, let's, let's just pretend that we have no explanation at all and that our answer is we don't know. Yes. Okay, so you, there's this big mystery. Hey, why is there something rather than nothing? Why does the universe exist? And my answer could be, oh, it's natural and you know we have these natural understandings. Or my answer could be, I don't have an explanation, but you think you have an explanation and because I don't accept it, why should I accept it? Because the Bible says it all. Okay, why should I care what the Bible says? Because it's the word of God, it's the truth. How, how do you know it's the word of God and that it's true? Because those are not necessarily one and the same. It's, an, it's a book inspired by God, even though God didn't write it himself, but it inspired those that wrote it. How, how do you know that? From the book itself when okay you read it. so you're using the book to prove the book so if i gave you a book that said this book everything in this book is true would you accept everything in the book well, it depends on what the book is talking about and the source of the book okay it depends on the source of the book yeah. but you're accepting the source of the book based on the book so if i give you a book that says it's written by god and that everything in it is true, would you accept that book? If the book has been in existence and is into being used by churches that promote and preach about God before well, my existence then... Be before um, your existence? So that's true of the Quran. Why aren't you a Muslim? I don't have anything against the Quran. You don't? I, how, I how, can you, how can you be a Christian and not have everything, anything against the Quran when it diminishes who Jesus is? Well, everybody have their right to believe whatever they want to believe. Oh, okay. Well, if beliefs are just something you do because you want to, um, then why are you worried about what we believe? Well, I, I guess my question is I still don't understand why you're not a Muslim. Well, I'm not a Muslim. I wasn't born a Muslim. My parents were Christians, so I followed your Muslim. But, but the Quran says it's from God and that it's true. Yeah, the Quran. If, if if you if you read the Bible well, you will know everything came out from Abraham. Well, the Muslim, the, no, the, the Muslims Abrahamic, are from Ishmael. The Abrahamic religions, everything stems from Abraham. But there are other religions. There is Hinduism, which is potentially older, um, that talks about their gods. Yes, but in terms of Christianity and Islam, 
is from Abraham, Ishmael. I, I, I know, Isaac and Ishmael. I'm, I'm yes. aware of, of the delineation between what they point to as their origins. But are we saying here that any old book that says that it's true and that God inspired it, as long as people preach it, it is true and it is from God? No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. Well, that, that's what you said. I, no. So, okay, so, no, 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 no. so, so what, what, it, why, it, why then it, do you it, believe? Why? Well, yeah, because when I asked you before why you believed, you said it was because of the Bible, and that yes, because the because Bible was the, the Word of God, and because you know the, the Bible is the Word of God because the Bible says so. So yes. now we've ruled out that entire argument. So why do you believe? That's the book for the church. The Bible is a book used on the church. I know. it's. I was a fundamentalist Christian. It's, I was a Christian for more than 25 years. I'm familiar with the fact that the Bible is the book of the church that you accept. I'm asking, why is that the church that you accept? Well, I guess that's what we're made to believe. You're, you're made because to believe it. Believe on because we're supposed to believe. I can't hear you. I, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, I, I'm just trying to figure out w why you believe. And your answer was either the Bible or it's what you're made to believe. Let, let me try a different question. Why okay. should Tracy believe what you believe? If what I believe is the truth, then I, she should believe is the truth. I, I'm, I'm in agreement. Yeah. And, and true, so is I Tracy. If it's it. true, she should believe it. Now, how do we figure out whether or not it's true? I can't hear you. How do we figure out whether or not it's true? Well, the content of the message, what does the message preach? What does it stand for? Okay, but you could have, so what is it that you think is true about it um, that's important? Well, the Bible, the Bible talks about peace. It also talks about war. Uh, but the Bible talks about morality. It also it advocates slavery. Not really. Yeah, yes, really. really. Exodus 21. I've got a whole video covering all, everything about slavery. It tells you who to enslave, how long you can enslave them, how you have to let your fellow Jews go after six years unless you trick them by giving them a family, um, that you can beat them as long as they don't. I, it, it's, and that's not the only immoral thing. Okay. Okay. You know, the thing is, you know, the Bible, you said you were a Christian for a long period. Yeah. The Bible has, the, Bible has uh, the New Testament and the Old Testament. Right. And in the New Testament, all that was changed. No, it wasn't. No, no. After the coming of Christ. No, 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 no. The, the only thing, the only time slavery is mentioned in the New Testament is in specific instructions for slaves to obey their masters. There's no, there's nothing in the New Testament that says slavery is no longer allowed. It says slaves yeah, but, obey your masters. Yeah, but it was not promoted. In the New Testament, okay. Like, was so, in the do you think slavery is immoral? Yes, I think it's immoral. Why? Your Bible doesn't. At no point does it say that slavery is immoral. It says the exact opposite. If you were God and you were giving instructions to people, and you, and you as God knew that slavery was immoral, would you write down, slavery is immoral, don't own people as property, or would you write down, you can go ahead and have slaves as long as you do this and this, and you can beat them as long as they don't die? Which of those two would you do if you were God? Don't keep no slave. Okay. So you think that God thinks slavery is immoral, and if God actually wrote the book, he would have said don't keep slaves. But that's not what happened, is it? So clearly the Bible is not the word of God, and it's not true and not worthy of belief. Well, I want to give Emeka some points there for saying I would write don't own slaves. Now, well, my, I mean, my biggest, my biggest no, problem not, is that I can hear him laughing in the background, well, so I'm having I, I, a hard time taking him seriously. Sometimes people have nervous laughter. I, I know. But, but I, I'm just saying that if, uh, you know, if, if you sincerely you know, can come right out and say after just a moment of thought, you know, I would say don't own slaves. Yeah. That is uh, more than a lot of Christians can say. Yeah, a lot of them will just make excuses for why it's in there. So you, you get some points for that one. But I want to, I, thanks a lot for the call. I appreciate it. Uh, basically, the, the answer to your original question is um, atheists don't believe in a God, and that's pretty much it.
Everything else is uh, up for grabs discussion-wise with regard to the atheist label, uh, but we're also skeptics and humanists, and so there are a number of other things that we, uh, we care about. But the one thing I care about is that if I'm going to believe something, I'd like it to be true, and I'd like to have good reasons to think yeah. it's true. Uh, okay. the, the, the amount of time that an idea has been around, the number of people who support it, the number of books that it's in, what those books have to say, none of those things, the sincerity of their belief, None of those things in any way tell you how likely something is to be true. The fact that an idea is cherished only shows you that it's cherished. It doesn't show you whether or not it's true, and it doesn't show you whether or not it's a good idea. Uh, and that's what I care about. And as soon as somebody can show me a God that is real, exists in some fashion, that we can demonstrate this, and is good, uh, I'm on board with believing in it, and I still wouldn't worship it because I'm convinced that no being worthy of worship would ever demand or expect it. And any being worth being called a god would realize this.